With how quick most Hollywood romances are, it's no wonder so many people agree to get a prenuptial agreement. Not even celebrities too, since the divorce rate is so high, prenuptial agreements have become a rarity to almost a basic procedure when getting married. So many have done this to protect their assets, but some marriages, including some Hollywood marriages, said no to one. I'm going to talk about some celebrity couples who refuse to sign prenups. It seems Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez didn't sign a prenup before tying the knot in 2022. According to people amid their divorce in 2024, a lot of factors are unknown, such as who will get what, what assets they share like homes and projects, and more. Seth Rogen revealed when he and Lauren Miller didn't sign a prenup, and he doesn't care if he has to shell out millions if they divorce. He said, marriage can be expensive, and if I lose millions, then it'll be the best millions I've spent. They've been married since 2011. Aww. While it was reported that Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker were working on a prenup, it wasn't signed by the time they got married. However, according to TMZ, sources claim they also considered to get a postnup, but it's unclear if that happened either. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore confirmed to TMZ that she and her ex Mark Daly unfortunately didn't sign a prenup. Kenya and Mark were together from 2017 until their separation in 2021 and have been working on their divorce battle since. In case you didn't know, Gwen Stefani and Gavin Rossdale had no prenup in place before their 2002 wedding. They were together for 13 years and divorced officially in 2016. US Magazine said because of their lack of a prenup, they ended up deciding on a 50-50 joint custody. Gavin didn't ask for child support and got less than 50% of all their combined assets. According to TMZ, it was confirmed that Justin and Hailey Bieber had no prenup of any kind for any other wealth and assets. They've been married since 2018. Katy Perry and Russell Brand were only married from 2010 to 2012, but when their divorce happened, many expected a lengthy battle since they signed no prenup, but in a shocking turn of events, Russell agreed to walk away without receiving a cent of Katy's fortune, according to the Daily Mail. During an appearance on the Dr. Oz show back in 2020, Jessica Simpson said she wished she would have signed a prenup before her marriage to Nick Lachey. I wish I would have signed a prenup. The funny thing is that Nick wanted me to sign a prenup, but I was so offended. I'm like, but we're gonna be together for the rest of our lives. We're saying our vows to God in front of all of our family and friends. This is never gonna end. And we didn't sign a prenup. According to the Mirror, she had to pay $12 million to her ex after the divorce. They were married from 2002 to 2006. Did you know royals don't have prenups? Prince Harry and Meghan Markle wed in 2018 without one, and not only that, Prince Harry went as far as to reject a prenup according to the Daily Mail. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been married since 2018. Speaking of royals not signing prenups, Prince William and Kate Middleton didn't sign one either. They married in 2011. What did you guys think of all this? Let us know in the comments, we read all of them. I'm your host Jess, and I hope you have a fabulous day.